recording. Yeah. Hi, my name is Robert Bolaños. I am doing a review of the DS4000 series uh, uh, Rigel oscilloscope, and also we'll be doing a uh, review on the DG4000 series uh, function generator from Rigel as well. Uh, first, I want to say thanks to the Rigel people and also for data marketing. Uh, Jim Abbott got a hold of Rigel and Rigel uh, sent me two evaluation versions. I asked for the 100 megahertz scope and the 60 megahertz scope and they ended up giving me or sending me the 500 megahertz scope and the 160 megahertz scope. So they sent me the top of the line. Uh, I've been in the market or uh, trying to update my equipment. I do have a Rigel 1064 which is a 60 megahertz scope and also have the DG 1022 so I'm hoping that uh, that I will like both the new Rigels and hopefully upgrade to them. Now before I even uh, uh, got a hold of the Rigel 4000 series I did get an evaluation version of the Agilent 3000. It was the 360 megahertz, and I have to admit that it's a very good scope. So it makes the decision of whether to buy a Rigel and an Agilent very, very difficult. They they both have uh, pros and cons. So this evaluation is uh, uh, I didn't get a chance to do an evaluate uh, video preview on the Agilent. Uh, but uh, now that I have the Rigel for a couple of days, uh, I want to document uh, some of the features that it has and some of the things that I like and perhaps some of the uh, things that they could be improved. There are not many, it's just very little. Anyway, uh, so we'll, we'll step on with the evaluation. 